In today's video in our series about uh, custom headlight build, I'm going to effect some headlight reflector refurbishment. Bosses in the reflector system that hold the projector into place get easily broken if the uh, light has been knocked. So today I'm going to show you how I'm repairing this. This reflector also has a broken uh, adjuster uh, socket and I shall swap that over. I shall also move on to make some new studs for mounting the projectors on. So stick around and let me show you how. Luckily this area gets hidden by the overlap of the indicator reflector once it's all reassembled. Because obviously this is going to involve the use of some adhesive and I'm going to need to strengthen this area with some filler. First thing to do is to sand through and remove the aluminium layer off the surface. I'm also going to remove some on the front surface here. You can see how easily the aluminium comes off because the aluminium layer is so thin just literally just a few microns. I've also done the same with the piece that came out of the damaged area. This is very important because when we glue this back together and we strengthen it we want our glue and our strengthening materials to stick to the substrate plastic and not to the aluminium. The aluminium is only very very lightly bonded to the plastic and, and if you were to bond to the aluminium then that could all come apart in the future. But a quick demonstration with some very good quality frog tape, which is high quality painters masking tape. If I stick a piece across this old reflector and peel it off, you can see that it's peeling the aluminium with it. We'll come back to that subject, but that's a demonstration of how easily this aluminium comes off. So that's why we want to expose the plastic and make sure we stick to the plastic. Now using a soft paintbrush and methylated spirits, I'm giving the area a thorough clean down. Do the same with your broken piece as well and allow the work pieces to dry thoroughly. I'm going to make my initial repair with some super glue. <coughs> Having got the initial position of the uh, broken studs secured through uh, super glue, I'm now going to strengthen the stud repairs by using uh, a fiberglass kit. So follow the instructions on whatever fiberglass kit you've got or maybe you prefer to use body filler or some other means or you could use epoxy. So once you've stuck your bosses back on and you've added some material to strengthen them up, finish the material off to your own satisfaction. Try not to add too much material on this side closest to the projector lens because some of the bosses closer to the lens than others and you don't want to uh, create any interference. Bear in mind that ultimate neatness really isn't the goal here. Strength of the bosses is the goal. I must confess I'm not best practiced at using separate glass mat and resin. I would much prefer to have used a ready mix product such as David's P40. I'll link you to some suitable products in the description. In order to get this ball socket off to replace it on the other reflector, it needs to be pulled off this way. Inside here, it's got a little catch that locates in a notch in the moulding. I'm using a larger screwdriver, 5mm, to apply an upward pressure from below on the uh, moulding and then a small 3mm screwdriver to lift the catch out of the notch. Once you've released it, it comes off. It's then a simple matter to just push fit. We now have a replacement ball socket on this reflector. So we're now ready to make new studs because the existing studs are too long for the new projectors. The new projectors have a slightly shorter lens housing would mean that you would end up with a gap down here between the lens housing and the reflector. So we need to be able to mount the new projector nearer to the reflector. It's not possible to shorten these studs. The thread is rolled on here so even if you had access to a lathe you wouldn't be able to continue the thread down by cutting it with a die. It's M4 up at the top of the standard studs here and the holes in the projector that, uh, that you mount with are M4. So I'm using M4 bar. You'll notice that the portion of the standard studs that mounts into the bosses has a self-cutting plastic thread which is only around a centimetre long. I want to put the new studs further into the bosses to give added strength 
both to the bosses and to the mounting. In order to do that, I'm going to have to make each stud a dedicated length for each boss, because some of the bosses are longer than others. Next step is to thread the bosses to take the new custom studs. They need to be threaded M4. So first, drill with a 3.7 millimeter drill. Keep lifting the drill out and clearing the uh, dust out of the hole. But I'm going to go all the way through. The reason for that will become clear in a few minutes. I'll finish that off separately once I've got the stud in place. If you've got a small drill driver set on slow speed, use a long M4 tap, because if you use a short one, of course, you won't be able to go the full depth. You can do this either by hand or like this. Once the thread starts to cut, it'll take itself through, no need to push. Now, the reason why I've gone all the way through with the hole is because the first part of the tap is a starting thread. So in order to get full thread as far as as the way through the hole as possible, you need to be able to take the tap further than the bottom of the hole. I'm cutting my studs from uh, a metre length of M4 threaded bar that I picked up from a local engineering suppliers and I'm holding them in my vise using my soft jaws. When you cut each rod, don't forget to just dress the ends to make sure that you can thread a nut onto the bar and also thread the bar into the uh, plastic bosses. And when you're cutting each stud, hold, hold your bar horizontally in your vise and cut as close to the vise as you can and start in a thread and use a junior hacksaw with as fine a blade as, the, as you can get locally. One method you could use to gauge how much length of stud you want to put in each boss is have an extra stud like this with a nylock nut on one end and a, and a loose nut part way down its thread. Thread this stud into the boss until it just shows where you've broken through at the other side so that you've got maximum engagement. Wind your loose nut down to there, bring your stud back out and you can now measure how much thread you want. 20 millimetres. So I now know that the next stud wants to be 45 plus 20 long, 65 millimetres long. Simply screw your stud in, screw it in until the end just shows. Once that's been painted, you'll never even see that it's there. Put your washer on and an ordinary nut. Take the nut all the way down. You can just nip the uh, stud down. Not tight, just gently nip it into place. And there we go, we've replicated what we had before. Because, the, because we've got thread all the way, once, we get, once we've got all four studs in, and we've got the projector into place, we can adjust each stud so that we get the projector exactly where we want it. And like on the original, I've bought some new nylock nuts to go on. And we'll reuse the little mounting rubbers off the original. So now, repeat that process on all four of your studs. And hey presto, now we have a reflector with repaired bosses, custom studs, ready to accept a new projector. That all the studs are almost identical length. Absolute fractional uh, accuracy is not uh, essential. This reflector is now ready for use. You can use it as is, put the original uh, projector back in, or, we can, or you can move on to custom painting. If you got value from this video, please give it a like down by the title. I'll link you here to the next video in the series once it's been done and I shall see you next time.